Hi, Caleb with Brown Nose here. In today's quick tip, we're gonna be talking about dwell time, specifically on the AR-15 and what that is and why it matters. Uh, to be honest, it really doesn't matter unless you're building an AR-15 or until you run into an issue with your AR-15. So if you've built an AR-15, uh, planning to build an AR-15 and you're doing the research, or if you've been trying to diagnose issues with your gun, uh, you'll know the term dwell time, and you may have seen a definition or two out there of it. Let me tell you what it is, and then I'll tell you what the wrong definitions are. So what dwell time is, it's the amount of time the gases from the fired cartridge are acting on your actual system, and that system on this gun being your bolt carrier group. Um, so let's define what these pieces are. Uh, so if, you, if you're if you kind of new to this and you don't know, uh, we'll, we'll jump right into it here. So your barrel itself, I have this one here I can show you, this is our cutaway. You'll notice that you have your chamber area back here, that's where your cartridge is loaded, and you have this hole that's drilled in the top right here. This is what your gas block is gonna cover. So whenever you fire your bullet, it's gonna run down that barrel. And as that bullet's running down the barrel, there's a bunch of hot gases from the explosion, from that gunpowder burning, stuck behind it. So whenever your bullet hits that gas port, that gas is taking the path of least resistance. It comes out of that hole, into your gas block, into your gas tube, and runs back into your action and cycles your action. That's how this system works. So when I say when I say operating system or gas system, that's what I'm referring to. So the wrong definition, and I actually I'll show you on this barrel here again. What you and this I say it's a wrong definition. It's okay to help you visualize what it means, what dwell time means, but it's not actually what it is. So you'll hear it if you Google it. You know, there's a lot of junk out there, uh, as you well know. If you Google it, you'll see a lot of people are saying that dwell time is the amount of time it takes the bullet to pass the gas port and exit the muzzle. That helps you visualize it, and it's good to say that, but that's not the definition. The definition is the amount of time the gas is acting on your system, okay? So knowing that, now we can kind of get into another aspect of it. So why does any of this matter? Why, why should you care about any of this? Well, if you're building an AR-15, selecting your gas system length, uh, you you need to understand it. That's important. Also, if you're having malfunctions, it may very well be gas-related, in which case, to properly diagnose that, you need to understand dwell time. So that's why this is important to you, <laughs> and that's why we're making this video. So this gas system here directly works with your buffer system, your buffer weight, your bolt carrier group weight, all of that stuff is working together to make this firearm run smoothly and run properly. So the easiest way to kind of diagnose it um, in most cases is to look at your ejection pattern. And we did this full AR build series that goes over troubleshooting and stuff like that we have on the Brownells website. So I'm not gonna get into all that, but that's, a, that's an excellent resource you can go check out. So let's talk about how to change your dwell time and if you can actually measure your dwell time. So I'm gonna tell you right now, the dwell time itself is not something you can pull out a stopwatch and measure. Uh, it's just a factor that you need to understand. Unless you're in a laboratory with super slow-mo stuff, you're not gonna be able to, to, to physically put a time stamp on it, if that makes sense, because it's all happening so fast. So there are different gas system lengths out there, and those gas system lengths have different dwell times. So for example, there are four primary gas system lengths. And when I say gas system length, that's where your gas block is on your barrel. So the shortest one being closest to the action is gonna be a pistol. Then you have a carbine, which is what this barrel down here is. So we're, we're looking roughly uh, approximately seven inches from you know, your, your receiver to that gas port. Then you have a mid length, which is roughly nine inches on that measurement. Then you have a rifle length, which is roughly 12 inches on that measurement. And those aren't exact, that's just, like I said, it's roughly. So with that being said, let's say for example, I'm using a standard 16 inch barrel, okay? 
This one's a carbine length. This one's a mid length. So which one's gonna have more dwell time? Since the gas port on this one is closer to the chamber, this one has more dwell time because it's gonna take longer um, for the bullet to exit the barrel. Therefore, the gas is gonna be enacting on the system for a longer amount of time. Another thing that's really important to note is that the closer the gas port is to the chamber, the more pressure is gonna be coming through the gas tube. And here's why. So for example, take this carbine, okay? When the bullet starts its travel forward after the cartridge is fired, there's a there's more measurable, there's a higher measurable amount of gas pressure closer to the chamber because as the bullet travels down the barrel, that pressure is dispersed into the rifling, into the barrel itself. Therefore, the further the bullet travels down the barrel, the less pressure is going to be behind the actual bullet itself. So that's important to know because on your pistol length systems, uh, you're, you're measuring more pressure at that point. So there's a higher spike in the pressure on shorter gas system. That's all you need to know with that. I know I'm being a little bit redundant here, but I'm, I'm just trying to, to, to get that embedded uh, into your mind here. So let's talk about real quick. I know I said before, if you were to Google this, wrong definitions come up. Um, and all of those different factors that go into it are why that definition of it's the amount of time the bullet passes the gas port till it exits the barrel is an incorrect definition. Uh, because that doesn't take all the factors I just went over into account. So dwell time, recap here. Dwell time is the amount of time the pressure from the fired cartridge is acting on your firearm system. And that's all there is to it. So if you have any questions or comments, I know we kind of got a little bit nerdy here um, into the, the inner workings of it. I got a little, little gunsmith geeked out on you a bit, but that's okay. So any questions or comments, feel free to post them down below. As always, you can give us a call on the tech line, talk to us directly. If you haven't already, go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>